Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. Calculating the total EP stored in a configuration of charges is a standard A-level problem. So here we have an example. We have three charges, A, B and C. Um, they are positioned at the three corners of an equilateral triangle with length uh, 2.0 mm. Let's start with uh, just charge C alone by itself uh, fixed at this position here. So by itself, there's no EP stored. You, you need a, a pair of charges before you can store any EPE. Let's now bring in charge B from a point at infinity and we push and push and push it towards charge C and then we fix it at position B. Now we have to do work in order to bring these two positive charges close together and the amount of work done is the EP stored between these two charges and is given by the formula KQQ over D. So just substitute the numbers into the formula and you get the EP stored between charges B and C to be a positive 27 microjoules. Okay, now let's bring in charge A, which uh, remember is a negative charge. So uh, this time around, actually I do have to push. Instead, I have to pull back charge A because uh, this is a negative charge and naturally uh, B and C are actually attracted. They are attracting it. So what I have to do is actually to provide a restraining force so that this charge doesn't uh, accelerate as it goes towards A. So with that restraining force, we leave this charge uh, fixed at point A. We can now calculate the EP stored between charge A and C using the same formula KQQ over D. And it turns out to be a negative EP, negative 9.0 microjoules. It's a negative EPE because A and C are unlike charges. When we have unlike charges, uh, we store negative EP. In fact, the closer they are, the more negative the EPE. And let's not forget there's also EP stored between charges A and B. And it turns out to be a negative EP as well, since these two are also unlike charges. Now, notice that when it comes to calculating um, EPE, when we use this formula, it's very useful to include the signs of the charges when you use this formula. Because the, the math will naturally give you the correct signs for the EPE. So in assembling these three charges, we are storing um, positive EP between B and C and negative EP between A and C and A and B. So what is the total EP stored in this system? Is it simply the summation of the three EPs? Is it really so simple? Don't we have to do some vector summation, Pythagoras, trigo, cosine, or sine, or whatever? No need because uh, EP is a scalar, it's not a vector. So that makes the calculation really easy. You just got to sum them up. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!